Hello friends, welcome to iExambi. I'm Satakshi and I'm your English faculty at iExambi. And in this video, we will see that how should you cover your English section? How should you prepare for the English section for your upcoming NICLAO exam, right? Now in this exam, first uh, we will see that what kind of questions have come in the previous years, right? And then we will see how should we approach uh, the preparation and the topics this year all right so firstly questions seen in the previous years were from these topics we had questions from reading comprehension always around 8 to 10 questions we saw in uh, all the past years right then we saw questions based on error detection around five questions were always there the patterns may have changed uh, in different years right but the number of questions were around five only right then we saw para jumble around four to five questions every year and we saw close passage five questions every year all right and then apart from these questions there were other questions where uh, they were not constant in all the years but in some year we saw uh, like fillers in some other year we saw some other kinds of questions like we saw correct word usage we saw word exchange right these kind of questions we saw okay and if uh, you are not getting what am i saying you don't understand the patterns just by listening to the names you can very well visit our website at iexambi exam website and practice the mocks there right spend time on our website and you can earn some b coins and uh, you can use those b coins to uh, practice more and more mocks and the more mocks you practice right more coins you'll earn and uh, you know you can uh, get to practice more mocks you can get more pdf access and things like that right okay so now uh, now these questions were uh, you know what we saw in the previous years these were always constant and uh, then few others from these topics were there all right now we will see that what can we expect this year now firstly it is for sure that we will have reading comprehension we will definitely get uh, error detection pattern may vary and uh, i have posted a video uh, with different patterns of error detection questions there are many many patterns uh, more than 10 patterns of error detection questions that we have seen in banking exams till now right so watch that video you can find that on our main channel right and apart from these you we can also um, expect questions from para jumble very very important but now apart from para jumble we are also seeing questions based on sentence rearrangement what is this para jumble is when you are given one paragraph and sentences of that paragraph are jumbled amongst themselves right sentence rearrangement is when you are given one sentence that sentence is divided in parts and those parts are jumbled so you have to arrange that what part will come where to form a meaningful sentence right so one sentence you have to form in this case here you have to form one entire paragraph right now apart from these close passage is expected you must study close passage also and even close passage has uh, you know a lot of patterns these days so uh, yes you can expect close passage or fillers it is possible that you get either close passage or fillers right and then correct usage now we have seen uh, in particularly nicl ao exam uh, the correct usage of words that is this is vocabulary based right you can also get the correct usage of idioms all right or the correct usage of phrasal verbs so now in this uh, these kind of questions you're given a, a phrasal verb or an idiom in the question and then you're given three sentences using uh, that particular phrasal verb or idiom right and then you have to see that which sentence uh, is using that phrasal verb correctly and which is not right and you have to mark the answer accordingly okay apart from this uh, you should also expect actually what um, by expecting these questions i mean that you should study uh, you know all these topics you can get anything from these okay so um, word exchange again four words are highlighted and their positions are interchanged and you have to uh, find the correct position of those words right and connectors and lastly match the columns these two we have not seen till now but yes uh, the trend is actually changing and we've say, uh, we are seeing connectors and match the columns these days so yes it is uh, good that we practice it because uh, in last moment we just don't want uh, you know to be shocked in the exam so um, please practice connectors and match the columns also right uh, now 
how uh, should we cover the syllabus that is also important now our preparation encompasses or um, includes these three ways in which we can cover the syllabus first is that we should read okay develop a reading habit read every day and then is vocabulary vocabulary is important we have to build that vocabulary also and next is our grammar is also very important right so we have to work on these three parameters we have to build our reading skills we have to build our vocabulary and we have to build our grammar all right now how to do that right that is also important so firstly always always read newspaper make it a habit for the remaining days till your prelims examination you will have to read the newspaper every day develop a habit and also look for the difficult words their meanings understand the word and in this way your vocabulary as well as your reading skills will be sorted now i will tell you what will happen how will it help you if your reading skills and vocabulary uh, are sorted right now apart from this what other task you have to do is uh, firstly you have to read the newspaper every day and secondly you have to study the rules of grammar right and now uh, we keep on circulating uh, 100 rules of grammar uh, please join our telegram channel um, i will uh, post the link in the description box join that telegram channel and uh, we'll post uh, 100 rules of grammar once again in the uh, coming days and there all the rules of grammar you will get in one place right and once you have those 100 rules in place and you have learned them and practice them right practice is the key after all this right you just cannot read and uh, you know just go to the exam like exam center like that you must practice as well right and as i said time is less i exam b helps you prepare 50% faster so make sure that you utilize all the resources that i exam b is offering to you and make sure that uh, you are able to cover maximum syllabus in the least amount of time right um, also please practice all the mocks okay so now moving ahead your rules of grammar and your newspaper reading will sort things for you to a great extent and uh, now how will it help you firstly this i had uh, shown it to you earlier that reading comprehension error detection these topics are expected right so newspaper reading firstly will help you cover all these topics because it will help you in building context you know there are many questions that are not just based on grammar or vocabulary right questions like match the columns word exchange right sentence rearrangement para jumble these for solving these questions you must understand the context also right so newspaper reading helps you build the context helps you build the vocabulary and also the sentence structure right so uh, if you have the sentence structure and context in place you can solve many many questions even you know if your grammar is not perfect all right so make sure that uh, you know you don't ignore newspaper reading then with the help of grammar your error detection will be sorted some bit of close passage fillers will be sorted with the help of vocabulary as well as grammar and connectors will also be sorted with the help of vocabulary as well as grammar right so only newspaper reading and your uh, 100 rules of grammar if you do these two things diligently right it is very very certain that english section uh, will not be difficult for you at all and you will do great in the exam all right friends as i said you must must practice mock test because what happens is even the uh, brightest of students they call us uh, they connect with us one on one and they ask their doubt they say ma'am i understand the rules of grammar i read them i learned them i know all of them but i am not able to do that i am not able to solve the questions when i see the uh, you know i am not able to apply those when i see the question in front of me so why uh, it is so it is so because practice is lacking all right we must know that when we are reading a sentence we should know what is the process that we should follow and what is the process that we should check for subject verb agreement we should check for noun pronoun agreement right and so on which that we should check for nominative and objective forms have they been used used correctly like this there is a perfect sequence that we have given we have given it in the course also and we'll uh, try to circulate it in our telegram channel also to agar aapne if you have seen that sequence and if you apply 
uh, that sequence in your uh, you know while solving a particular question matlab nothing can stop you from cracking that question right so uh, friends this is all for this video keep practicing prepare 50% faster with i exam b do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to receive the updates of the videos that we post for you